Yeah. <laughs> I like the little reaction. Okay. So. <laughs> um, yeah. So the recording's live now. So I guess some people might be watching on replay later. But uh, we'll ask questions and you can answer them and go along as we, as we go, pretty much. Um, okay. So, yeah. For the replay as well, my name is uh, Oliver. Um, you may have seen me in he helping some other lessons out. Uh, a bit about me. <laughs> uh, I currently play bridge for uh, the under-26 England team. Uh, going off to Belgium tomorrow to play. Um, and so today we're going to go through some hands, see how we get on. Uh, some, some of you have sent in uh, hands on BBO. So we'll answer some questions, and if we've got some time at the end, we might play a few hands of the day-long tournament in BBO. Hi, Roz. Uh, it's your first attendance. It's the first time we're doing this, so uh, <laughs> we'll see how everything goes. Uh, yeah, hi, Babs. I know Babs from uh, one of the lessons. Yeah. Great. Hi, Liz. Hi, Carol. Hi, Leslie. Great. Okay. Let's crack on with the first hand, shall we? Oh, okay. Uh, okay. Okay. Can we all see this hand? If it's too small, let me know, um, and we can try and do something about this. Hi, Emily. Hi, Margaret. It's good to have you. Okay, great. So, as we can see, the question is, after West bids two clubs, what should I... I'm hoping that's East have bid. So, West opens two clubs. What do you guys think you should be, or we'd want to bid with the East hand? Can you not hear me? Uh, Caroline, uh, might I try refreshing? Uh, okay. Hello? <laughs> okay, Caroline, if you can hear me, then uh, refresh your page. If not, I'll type it in the chat. Okay. Okay, it's an interesting hand, right? Yeah, a wide range of answers. We've seen two diamonds, we've seen two hearts, we've seen three hearts. It's an interesting hand. Um, so it's quite common to play uh, two diamonds as a waiting bid. Um, some people play it as a negative, showing sort of zero to seven points. Depends on what you and your favorite partner have agreed. Um, Someone said there's 20 high card points enough to open two clubs. The general rule is that if you opened a club on this hand, let's say, and partner passed, would you feel really gutted that you weren't playing in game? Or would you be content just playing in one club? Um, for me, I could give East the king of clubs and a small club. And three no trumps is probably going to be on a finesse. Yeah. So for me, this is a two club opener. It's not quite the 23 points, but it's what I would call a game forcing hand. A hand that wants to play in three no trump or maybe something might even get to six clubs, but wants to play in at least game opposite not very much. Okay, so <laughs> East has got a lot of points, don't they? How many have they got? Yeah, looks like they've got 11 to me. Partners open two clubs, promising a great hand. So we should be thinking about the end goal should probably be looking at slam. So after a two club bid, East could bid two hearts. 
to show eight plus points and five good hearts, which would be an accurate description of this hand. Oh. Um, okay. Yeah, so for me, it would be a two club bid. Oh, sorry, a two club pass two heart bid. Um, for those of you who want to wait with two diamonds, that's also a perfectly fine strategy. If partner bids two no trump, saying they've got the balance 23-24 hand as West, it's great. We can use our no trump system now, maybe transfer to hearts, and we can get going. The downside to bidding two diamonds is that when West doesn't bid two no trumps, you've got to bid three hearts later on, and now we might be fighting for... Uh, which suit we're going to have as trumps at the four level. So, for me, it's a two heart bid. If I bid two hearts and partner bids two no trump, I know we don't have a heart fit. Then I can just worry about how high we're going to play in no trumps or, in this case, clubs. Yeah? Okay. So, let's have a look at how the auction panned out. So, here we can see the auction that panned out. Uh, two clubs, East bid two hearts. West bid three clubs. Oh, let me just answer Kathleen. Okay. Um, so, yes. Two clubs, two hearts, three clubs from West. Just saying I've got clubs. And game forcing hand. East raised to four clubs, which is I quite like that bid. Um, as we're already in a game force, East is by bidding four clubs is agreeing clubs and making some form of slam try. Yeah. <laughs> we're getting into dangerous territory of slam bidding now. Um, for those be for those people who are doing the beginners lessons in chat. Might be a bit, or might be a step too far. Uh, for those more uh, more intermediate players, maybe you followed along. Yeah, uh, four no trump might be all right. I would be a bit worried, even if we find out we've got all but one of the aces or key cards. We still might be off the ace king of diamonds or something like this, looking at the east hand only. So for me, I like to use Q bids or control bids, just to make sure we're not ca we're not missing the ace and the king in a suit before going through Blackwood or Roman key card Blackwood. Um, that's just me. I think West is a bit uh, pessimistic, looking at all their aces and just putting game on the table. But, yes, <laughs> I think I might have ended in six clubs here. Um, not the greatest of contracts. On a diamond lead, you're probably going to have to avoid a spade loser or have the king of hearts rough down. But six clubs will make on this layout. Okay, so... If anyone's still having any technical problems, uh, let me know. I'll <laughs> try and help you out where I can. Um, this was just the first hand that was sent in. So let's go across and I'll uh, get the next hand up. Uh, okay. Oh. Okay. Okay, so we're going to look at another hand here. Um, can you all see the hand? Okay, so let's get the auction up. So <laughs> I quite like the name. Uh, this got sent to us by the person who's in the north seat. Um, 
their question was, North opened what's presumably a 15-17 no trump. South, with their 12 points and six pretty good clubs, decided to just bid three no trump and not transfer to clubs and maybe have a little probe for six clubs or, you know, test the waters a bit. Um, for me personally, it looks like a three no trump bid to me. Yes, on a great day, which happens to be today, you make six clubs because the club finesse is on side and the ace of diamonds is on side. Um, six clubs is 20, 25%. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, six clubs is 25% at, the, at best, basically. Um, or oh, needs two finesses. So, okay. Uh, sorry. I did the people who've got no sound, uh, I think other people are getting it. So I think it's their end. Uh, okay. Not sure what I can do at the moment. Um, okay. So, I think North was a bit uh, a bit miffed that they didn't get to six clubs. Okay. <laughs> okay. Great to hear. Um, why not Hearts? It's a very good question, uh, Julia. Um, it's very difficult to find uh, a five-three heart fit when you're bidding these hands when the North hand has five hearts. Um, some people may have a, you know, Stamen asks for four card majors. Some people play that three clubs ask for five card majors from the no trump opener. Uh, it's not a very common method, but that's a way you'd be able to find a five, three heart fit. Um, whether we would be in six hearts or six clubs, you need the club suit to come in. So for me. I would prefer to play in clubs because our club loser isn't going away if we play in hearts and we've got an extra trump, which means that the opponents have less and there is less chance of a bad break. Or when the break is very bad, like trumps are 4-0, four, four with, with the ace, queen, jack, 10 and 9, we can still draw trumps for only one loser if there are four offside. Oh, Babs, great. You can use five card statement on this. Three clubs. <laughs> Works out very well. Unfortunately, uh, <laughs> you sort of have to pick your poison on this hand. Um, some people will want to show some clubs and try and bid six clubs. Some people may try and bid four hearts or even six hearts on this hand. But after you commit to using your five card statement, it's quite difficult to bid six clubs if partner doesn't have, you know, partner has five spades or doesn't have five hearts. So you've got to be a little wary. Um, <laughs> yes, I think that while I like the hand, could non-promissory statement also work, then show the clubs when you get North's reply? Uh, that could work. Um, it's well, it's quite unlikely to. Uh, if it, if you uh, North opened the no trump and we bid stamen, if partner bids two hearts, only showing four, we haven't really gained any information. We haven't. We don't know we've got a, a heart fit just yet. So non promissory stamen is asking a question where the answers aren't that useful to us. Um, Mary Alex, yeah. We've got 12, partners got 15 to 17. It falls short of the, like, the normal high card points we need for a small slam. But when we play in a uh, small slam in trumps, very often it is kings and shortages that allow us to make lots of trump tricks and make up for the deficit in high card points. 
if you're going to play six no trump, for example, then we're going to need 33 high card points just to be confident they're not going to cash two aces. But if we're bidding a slam in trumps, as long as we've got all the key cards, enough trumps to take or to trump cards in both hands, then we'll probably be all right. Um, <laughs> we've got two hands that people like slams, don't they? Very much uh, interested in either getting to them or why didn't we get to this one? Um, as, as I said, we need both the diamond finesse to be, or the ace of diamonds to be with west, and we need the king of clubs to be in east to make our slam. Two finesses, I'm, I'm quite all right in game. So I would still, I would bid three no trump with the south hand as well. And on this hand, it, that's one of one of the cases of the 25% of the time you'll make slam. But mm, yes, Babs, it's uh, when partner bids a no trump, we're very good at finding the right game, finding our 4-4 four, four fit, or in your case, finding the 5-3 major fit. But yeah, okay. Okay, so <laughs> yeah, sorry to see Caroline go, but if she can't hear me, then what's there to do? Um, okay, now we've got uh, a couple of hands from the man himself. Oh, I didn't mean to click his profile. Let's get out of there. <laughs> Let's go have a look. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, it's being a bit slow. Okay. So, <laughs> some of you may know Bajir. <laughs> He's a uh, fairly influential in uh, in the Learn Bridge Online. Okay. So he had a tricky time bidding and playing this hand. How to play the trump suit missing both both the king and the queen? I don't think he's missing both of them. But <laughs> we, we can go through the play and see what's happening. Okay. So what would you guys open the south hand with? We've got 13 points, five spades, four diamonds. Yeah, great. Open a spade. Assuming West passes, what would you like to bid with the North hand over a spade? Oh, King and Queen of Hearts. That makes a lot of sense. <laughs> well, well, well spotted, Jerry. Yeah, lots of two heart bids. Great. East will pass. And what do you want to do with the south hand now? Yeah, I think <laughs> we might get some different answers here. Okay, we've got lots of votes for three diamonds at the moment. You can't bid two diamonds, unfortunately. Partners bid two hearts. So you've got to, you've got to go up if you want to bid diamonds. Yeah, for those who are playing uh, the American style, uh, maybe you're playing two over one. It would be a nice, easy three diamond bid. Uh, playing Ackle depends how <laughs> would be a risky three no trump, especially with no uh, with only a doubleton club. Um, playing Ackle, depending on how light your favorite partner might be with the north hand. I know some of my partners will do it on a on a very nice nine nine points. So three diamonds might be a bit of a stretch. 
Uh, yes, Karen. So if you're playing uh, two over one and two hearts is game forcing, reverses don't really apply because you've already got to a game force. They may show a little extra, but it won't promise the same as, you know, a spade, pass a no trump, pass three diamonds. That would be the sort of... Doesn't show the same as that. So, a spade, pass two two hearts, pass... We'll go with three diamonds and see if Bajir followed us. Yeah, what do we want to bid as north now? We know, we know south is 5-4, spades and diamonds. We don't have a fit in either of the pointed suits, spades and diamonds. Yeah, very good. We don't have a club stop. So, yeah, it looks like a three-heart bid. Sorry, going back to Karen. Uh, don't play two over one. You might need a little extra. A new suit at the three level is always forcing to game. So I would actually be forced to bid two spades with the south hand, just not pushing us past the two level with only 13 opposite what could be nine. Okay, yeah, so... We're expecting the auction to go a spe uncontested. A spade, two hearts, three diamonds, three hearts. And what, what do we think Bajir is going to finally do? Is he going to pass? Is he going to raise raise to four hearts? I know what my money's on. Yeah, I agree with you, Paul, here. I think he's going to bid four hearts. And that will probably be where we, where we shall play. So... Ah, the robot playing a nice forcing one no trump. Uh, <laughs> a very American style. Uh, if you want to know a bit more about the uh, how the opponents bid, please check out India and her. She's doing a series of four classes on understanding how the robots bid. Yeah, okay, so... As we can see here, the robot decided to utilize uh, a forcing one no trump. I imagine lots of you don't have this available, so I'm quite happy with the auction that uh, we had. <laughs> Given that the robot responded no trump, which forced Bajir to bid again, he bid two diamonds, showing his 5-4. North leapt to life by bidding three hearts showing six hearts and an invitational hand. And Bajir, I don't think he's one to shy away from bidding game. <laughs> oh, Yeah, he's not one to shy away from bidding game. So he takes the plunge, as always. Yeah, losing trick count would help, certainly. Um, we can... Only use losing trick count once we found a trump fit. It doesn't quite work at the point where we haven't found a trump fit yet. So, yes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You are right. Bashir does have seven losers. So maybe the jump to game was a little, a little much, but I am a junior. I, uh, I don't hate <laughs> bidding game. Um, okay, so how how are we going to play the trump suit? Yeah, it's not very pretty, is it? I mean, we've, we're missing the the king, the queen, and the ten. <laughs> I think we're probably going to have to lose two tricks in this suit, almost regardless. Um, it looks like we're probably going to have to lose the king and the queen or one of the honours and the ten. Yeah. <laughs> yes, we are fun to watch. I mean, if we look at the whole hand, we've got two club losers. We've got no spade losers. We've got no diamond losers. So I think we, we, we've got to try and play hearts for one loser. So 
give me a hot well obviously you can see the east west hands but if you give me a a hand that for east where we could try and limit our losers you know king queen tight of hearts maybe so just the king and the queen doubleton that might that might certainly be a way to uh to limit our losers um I mean, I'm, we're kind of really struggling. If our ace doesn't catch one of the, or capture one of the king or the queen, we're going to be in a lot of trouble. Yeah. One of our options is maybe play east for queen 10 or king 10. But even if we play a small one from the north hand, east plays the 10. What are we going to do? We're going to be forced to play the ace, still lose to the king and queen. So I think the contract's not looking good. <laughs> Lead the nine of hearts and duck if West does not cover. That's a good idea. Um, we might be a little worried about losing to the ten in West. Because if we lose to the ten in West, we're not we're not doing so hot now. Yeah. Ducking one's not a bad shout. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Le leading the nine towards dummy. Oh, interesting. Yes. Ducking around seems like our best chance. Another alternative might be cashing the ace. Trying to catch king and queen doubleton. Uh, or catching a singleton on a, in either hand. Um, that'd probably be the best chance. Um, we'd hope the singleton on a be in east. It means west would have the heart pips and we might be able to lead through them. Uh, would west cover the 10? Oh, would, would west cover with the 10 if we lead the 9? Um, probably not. Uh, it can it can sit around and wait for those tricks. I mean, if we play the nine, West can quite safely win the king, exit a small heart to, to dummy's ace, Bajir's ace, and then we'll have queen on this hand. We'll have queen ten left, and North can't finesse because they're out of hearts. So on the hand, I think Bajir is uh, pretty pretty cooked here. <laughs> it's what he gets for bidding like a junior. It's not a bad contract in in like from the auction. They're twenty five high and have got an eight card heart fit, but in practice, you're not going to be make, making all of them. Yeah, let's see what the robot did. It looks like if they cash two top clubs, that'll be the end of it. King of clubs, get a count signal from partner, and then play the heart. Ooh, very interesting. Heart to the queen. So Bajir chose the, well, I guess Bajir might be playing it because it's three robots. So he chose to duck the first one to the queen. It's a good attempt. The robot, as we said, will just exit a small one to Bajir's ace. And now, even though North's Jack of Hearts is over the 10, we've got no heart in the south left to finesse towards the North hand. So, yes, uh, a bit unfortunate here. Played another club, hoping for some good things, but they never came. We press the give button we can see he's two down now he's lost trump control might even yeah i don't know he's not going to not going to make his contract that's for sure so a bit unfortunate from bajir um i do always encourage people to bid more um it's very cool oh, it's very easy for uh people to underbid hands and it's it's uh 
easier to tone down the aggression in the auction from people, especially when I'm teaching, rather than get very timid people to bid up. So, yeah, especially when I'm teaching, if there's a borderline decision, always go for the more aggressive option. And then we can tell you when you're overstepping the mark. Um, let's have a look uh, at the last one. Bajir really likes these bad Trump suits, doesn't he? Okay, let's bring the hand up. <laughs> Poor Bajir indeed. Never know. He should he should probably start playing with one well, he could start playing with one of the teachers that uh that work for LBO. <laughs> Although Yeah, they <laughs> They are very different players. I think we've got Adam, who's very uh, plays a very American style, all the way to Jack, who's English through and through. <laughs> you know? Okay. So let's have a look here. Pajir sent us a hand. Yeah. How should how should we have played this missing six trump cards? Okay, let's have a look at the auction, see how we got there. Uh, seems fairly normal. East open, oh, sorry, south opens a spade. West decided not to come in. Uh, they've got eight points, but they are six, four shape, and all of their points are in their long suits. So I certainly know some people, well, I know some people, I know a lot of people in the... Uh, You're very correct, Jim. Some people will come in with two hearts on the west hand, but I think it's a bit undisciplined. <laughs> yeah, Jim's, Jim makes a very good point there. <laughs> Although I think Bajir knows a little more than he lets on. Um, he, he asks very good questions, you know, very insightful questions. So, yeah, I think he... Uh, Knows a bit. Okay, let's see. Mary Alex. Okay, odd bid from North with at least four four in diamonds. Um, not quite sure what you mean. We'll get there. So a spade, pass a no trump, pass two diamonds from south, showing five spades and four diamonds. Seems very normal. Pass a north bid to two spades. This is what we call a false preference bid. So instead of passing two diamonds in the 4-3 fit, we give a false preference to a 5-2 fit, just so it allows the south hand to bid again. Um, with a, well, a spade, pass a no trump, pass three diamonds, as we talked about earlier, would be a reverse. So this would show 18 plus points, enough to go to game, and five spades, four diamonds. Because of this, if we've got 16 or 17 points, South's going to have to bid two diamonds to show their shape and pray that they get another go. Yeah? <laughs> yeah, so... We generally give false preference, especially when we've got a sort of a top of the range, no trump bid, just in case partner's got a 16 or 17 and needs to bid again to try and get us to a game. Uh, playing both ACO and Standard American, these 16 opposite nine games when you're not balanced and can't open a no trump with the 16 are often quite difficult to get to. So, this is one of the one of the things we use to sort of alleviate that problem. It's called false preference. If we had four diamonds and two spades, we wouldn't give this false preference. We have a guaranteed eight card fit and we're gambling on playing on a seven card fit in case partner's got this 15-16. It's not worth the risk, but 
on the north-south cards from North's point of view, he's just showing preference to one seven card fit as opposed to the other. Sorry, <laughs> getting on a bit of a tangent here. Let's go and have a look at how we should play this suit. Okay. So East and West have passed throughout. What I'd be very interested in looking at is we don't even have any pips, do we? We're missing the two, but then we're missing the jack, the 10, the nine and the eight. So we really don't have much to work with here. If one of our honors gets captured by the ace or gets taken by the ace, we're going to get one top spade trick and then we'll probably come to a length trick, but that's only two tricks in our trump suit. It's kind of scary for me. So with no pips here at all, we want to try and score both our king and queen. Yeah, so aren't five twos a bit easier to play than four threes? Um, depends what the hand is. Five two can be very good if you've got really good trumps, because then you can draw all the opponent's trumps and still probably have a long one, or still have a trump left. The downside to five two fits is that it's very difficult to rough anything in the hand with the two trumps like you can see on this north hand here. Even though we're playing in trumps, I haven't got a chance in, well, I haven't really got a chance at all at roughing anything in the north hand. I could try and rough a fourth round of diamonds, but that's a long way away yet. Generally, the, mo the more even the fit is, so 4-3 compared to 5-2, if the cards are more similarly length, it's, uh, it plays better. So four threes tend to play better because you can often take roughs in either hand. Uh, similarly, four four off will play better than five three. And five four will play better than six three. Uh, okay, so <laughs> we keep going on tangents here. Okay, so Looking at such a poor trump suit, we want to try and make both our king and queen of spades. So for me, I would be playing a spade towards the king, praying, crossing everything, that West has got the ace of spades. On this hand, it doesn't work out very well. But even if I played a small one to the <laughs> small spade to the queen and that held, I'm going to the king is going to fall under the ace next time. Oh, it's good the tangents are interesting. <laughs> so, for in an ideal world, I mean, the trump suit's pretty horrible. If we can make two, three tricks out of it, it would be great, but I'm not expecting to. In an ideal world, if everything was laying very nicely, I would play a small one to the king of spades. That would win, hoping the, the west has got the ace. And on the next round, I'm not going to play a small one back to the queen, because if West has got it, which we think they probably do if if we finesse it by playing one to the king, we should duck. Yeah? If West started with something like ace doubleton, yeah, or ace to three even, you play a small one to the king and that wins, you then play the five of spades from the dummy. East will play the ten. We know West has got the ace if our if our king of spades was, has stood up. So we, I would duck now. And sometimes the ace will come down in West, and you'll go, "I'm so good at this game." It's a, a skill that beginners don't have, and improvers need to improver and intermediates need to very much work on is once we take a finesse and it wins, we know where that card is. Yeah, if we finesse a king, we know the king's on side if the finesse works. So we can we can come back and take the finesse again. Here, if we play a small one to the king and that wins, East 
if they had the ace will take it so if if the king of spades won west we've got to give the ace of spades in the west hand so we know not to play the five of spades to the queen on the next round because we know it's going to lose to the ace if the king of spades won i would trump a heart hmm interesting this so we might be able to make lots of tricks if by trumping hearts um this is a very good point jerry so that's looking at the trump suit in isolation when we start learning everyone gets told draw trumps and that's generally the plan for 80 to 85 percent of the hands but with such poor trumps it might not be the right approach on the whole hand completely okay uh well, we'll finish up with Karen's question for this, and then we'll move on to Jerry's point, because if East duck the king, so we play a small one to the king. If they don't take the ace, they've given us a chance, you know, to, to get it right. So if we play a small one to the king, if you play a small one back to the queen now, if East doesn't play low like he should, and by some miracle, South played the queen. He'd have given us two trick. He'd have given us an extra trick for no reason. Yeah, East not playing the ace of spades has cost his side a trick. So, even if we get it wrong, and it, we play a small one and duck, that loses to the eight, and he wins his ace later, beating our queen. It's not the end of the world. He, we we couldn't actually make both the king and the queen on this layout anyway. He cost himself a trick by ducking and then we gave it back to him because we didn't think he was going to be that silly. Um, it does happen. Uh, even at the highest level, you'll see if you ever watch any of the world championships, plays like this happen a lot where someone thinks they're being clever and ducks an ace. The other person thinks they're not stupid enough to duck the ace and put it in the other hand. So... It is a bit of <laughs> is it does get a bit more complicated, but generally, if we play one to the king and it wins, I'm not going to think he's to duck the ace. Um, yeah, it doesn't benefit us. Jerry made a good point. If the king of spades won, you would trump a heart. So, looking at the whole hand in general, we can start to have an idea of how we're going to play the hand we've got one club trick ace king of diamonds we hope is three ace of hearts is four one of the top spades is five we still need a couple more tricks so i'm not sure what they led but i would actually be quite inclined to to try and finesse the heart um that will certainly make our life a lot easier. And if it loses, the ace of spades can still be with West. We can play a spade towards the king, get to dummy, and then the ace of hearts will be a useful pitch for our club loser. Um, so an idea of maybe scoring more trump tricks, as Jerry was, what Jerry was pointing to, was try and rough hearts in the south hand. Maybe making two natural or take two heart roughs in the south hand along with one maybe two spades if we can guess the spade position and then we're up to four or five tricks and we're we're in a good place uh, let's see what happened on the actual hand west led their singleton nine of diamonds which is a good lead east won or east played the jack and bajir won with the king Okay, what did Bajir do? Oh, okay, good. Played a heart, trying to take. Oh, very good. Took the finesse. Cashed the ace of hearts, pitching the club. Yeah. That's great. So, <laughs> he's got that, he's, he's got, he's, he's almost there. I mean, he's got three tricks. So, oh, 
oh no, Bajir, it was going so well. We wanted, we probably wanted to rough a heart now. Might not have gone so well given the actual position, but if we can trump a heart, get up to four tricks, ace of clubs is five. You know, we, we, we're getting close now. We've got one guaranteed spade trick with the honours. So we're getting pretty close to, well, we're up to six tricks and we've got a trump to spare. Ace of diamonds might stand up. Yeah, instead we decided to cash our ace of clubs, which wasn't really going anywhere. But that's all right. <laughs> we, we tried to cash the ace of diamonds, which was optimistic. Really delaying playing on this trump suit. And now we see we, we've run into the problem of the opponents are going to start roughing in if we don't draw trumps or try and rough hearts ourselves. So the opponents rough in. King of clubs and we rough. That's good. We're making our small trump tricks. We play a diamond, trying to tempt them into roughing. Didn't bite. <laughs> And the opponents caught on to the fact that Bajir was trying to score some trump tricks. So they decided, let's play some trumps ourselves, but then didn't continue that suit. Interesting. So he should probably have played another trump. Yeah. Jack always calls it a two for one play. Drawing two of the opponent's trumps for one of ours is very, very good. Yeah, it stops them being able to rough in both hands. So, a diamond, north one with the king, or roughed in with the king. A heart came back, east pitched their club. Oh, Bajir. <laughs> no. We're watching it. Oh, poor Bajir. He could just rough. He could rough the rough the light rough the club. Get up to trick number seven. Cash the queen of spades. That's eight tricks. But instead, he decided he was going to lose that one. And East trumps are now too strong. Force out the queen. Ah. Uh, Maybe we overrated Bajir, Jerry. <laughs> Maybe he's got uh, some more work to do yet. Uh, oh, sorry. Yeah, so if we want to draw trumps, we've got to hope West has got the ace. If we want to try and make all our small trumps, oh, trumps by roughing, we need to get to work on that early. Generally, cards like the Ace of Clubs won't go away. Or won't go away immediately. So, wait a, wait a minute. You don't need to cash your aces. Try and set up the other tricks. <laughs> yeah, hindsight's always twenty twenty, isn't it, Jerry? Yes, Babs. <laughs> But he, he did so well. He took the heart finesse, cashed the heart. Maybe didn't need to cash the ace of clubs, but then he got a chance to to get it back with the robot not defending very well. So now we've got a few minutes left. What I think we're going to do... Oh, let's log back in. Um, we're going to play a few hands from the daily tournament. I'll just talk through what I'm thinking and be interested if you've got any, uh, you're interested in what I'm thinking about, or if not, that's fine. Um, again, this is all a work in progress. So your feed, any feedback would be much appreciated if you would email hello at learnbridgeonline.com. That would be great. As always, if there's any, need anything for the format changed, let us know. So 
let's play a few hands. Okay. <laughs> Hand one. Already exciting. What do you what do you want to bid? I know what I want to bid. Let's have a look. Yeah, he, our hand's got a lot of playing strength. But some people would open this two clubs, but it's a bit much for me. Oh, our very nice partner's shown three or more spades. Very good. So, <laughs> how brave are we feeling? Oh, <laughs> how how brave are we feeling? Do we want? Do we think we can play in game? Do we think we should be looking for more? <laughs> yeah, four spades looks like a very sensible bid. Yeah, partner's unlikely to have a singleton club, so we might lose two clubs off the bat. Yeah, even if partner partner would need a, a very, very good hand for us, very suitable hand. Something like queen to three spades and the queen of diamonds and a singleton club. So I think four spades is probably the, where we should play. Yeah, as we can see here, they can cash two clubs against us. So we're in a we're in a good well, if we were in six, it would have not gone very well. As it happens here, we might make too many. Uh we got a club away on the lead. Well this all went very well. <laughs> we're now going to only lose a club. So we can claim just giving them a club trick. Lots of tricks. <laughs> it's always nice to start off on a positive note. Yeah, four losers is good. <laughs> Leslie. Unfortunately, it's... Uh, when, when looking to bid slams, it doesn't quite work. Because very often, well, sometimes you'll have... In that case, you'll have... Uh, we can probably bring it up in the history, can't we? Okay, so we've got four losers. Partner's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So by this logic, if we do the losing trick count, partner's got four, we've got eight. That makes 12, we take it away from 18. Losing trick count says we should play in six, doesn't it? But we can see that six isn't the right contract because you're going to lose the first two tricks in clubs. With North three... <laughs> yes, it works very. It works very well. Uh, I could have splintered. I could have splintered, but I did need partner to have a uh, either the ace, the king, or a singleton club, and not they weren't too likely. Robot doesn't lead the supported club suit. Lucky, I am very lucky. But you know what they say: if you can't be good, be lucky. So <laughs> I think I think the top players have a healthy dose of both. Um, it would only be plus one in four spades if they let a club. North did not show the strength of their hand. Probably true. They could have probably found an invitational bid. Uh, maybe they didn't value their queen of clubs so much. Okay. Well, we'll give we'll, we'll play one more hand and then see how we get on. Still looks like a two club overcall to me. Yeah. We've got 14 points. Great six card suit. Partner bid two spades. May still have some club support. Doesn't have, well, it's shown five or more spades. Now we're getting some tricky, tricky situations. Yeah. What would you like to bid on, on, my, on our hand? We could bid four clubs but we're moving past three no trump 
we could raise spades, but we don't guarantee an eight card fit. Neither bid is particularly good. I don't like double here being biddable diamonds. Yeah. We could gamble with three no trump, but that is very gambling. Yeah, especially without a stop. Yeah. Some people want to pass. We could still have 25 high card points. We could still have a game. Yeah. Can't bid three clubs, Bernard. They bid three diamonds in front of us. <laughs> yeah, so we've got two passes. We've got three passes, a four club bid. <laughs> Don't worry, Bernard. That's all right. I think our hand is too good just to pass. Oh, I don't know what I'm going to do, though. Three spades would be a bit of a lie. We might end up in a doomed four spades. Four clubs seems like a reasonable option. It says we've got two or less spades, rebidable clubs. Mm. I'm a go, I'm, I'll go against the grain and bid four clubs. But we'll see. Partner bid five clubs. I'm not too thrilled about this one, to be honest. We're probably going to lose two diamonds. Yeah, well, not not such a bad contract after all. <laughs> Lion hearts. <laughs> no, if if we'd have bid three hearts, partner would have raised us to four, and we wouldn't have been an eight card in an eight card fit. So, not a bad contract. We just need the spade suit to come in for two discards. We need to get both hearts away. So we can either take the finesse or we can try and rough down the queen. I'm sort of forced into taking this one. We might need the queen of clubs as an entry. What do we think? So uh, it's crunch time, guys. <laughs> do we want to finesse or do we want to try and play ace, king of spades and rough a spade? East is more likely to have the queen of spades as they've opened. Yeah. So it feels like the finesse might, might lose. Yeah. It's a very good observation. So... Ace, king, and rough, then. Yeah. We play the jack just in case it convinces them to cover. Well, that sort of went well and sort of didn't go that well. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> what do we think is going on in the suit, then? Yeah, if we pull trumps, the ace and ten are going to take care of one of our heart losers. Not sure about the rest. Yeah, we still got a heart loser on the hand. Mm, I think we might be going off here at the moment. We could draw. We could draw one round of trumps, but then that gives East some very weird hand. If East only had one trump. Mm. What do we think? Do we think East is up to a little little false card? Queen from Queen 1? Oh, I don't know. Yeah. Our, our options aren't great. I mean, if the, if the Queen was truly singleton, West has got 9-7 to 5, or started with 9-7 to 5, which means our suit isn't running. Unfortunately, are the bots that smart? Well, hmm. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I think I think our highest chance of success is actually they false carded. Because if we draw trumps, we we don't have the we don't have the discards to get our hearts away. So when they rough the ace of spades, 
I'm going to go a couple off. Mm. Considering it's match points, maybe it's best to draw the trumps, get minus 50 instead of minus 100, or minus up. Oh, sorry. Go one off instead of three off, is what I mean. Let's pull some trumps. Go for minus 50. And if East has false carded us, we will shake the robot's hand and acknowledge that they were smart. <laughs> so they had three trumps. Okay. Now we don't want to see East to follow. We can play the 10. Okay, so I don't think we could make that contract. Yeah, so when we're making... <laughs> yeah, when we're, when we're playing hands, we like to make a plan and think very often out loud. <laughs> I shouldn't concede, that's not what I should do. Um, but yeah, making a plan is a good idea. Certainly a good idea. Um, certainly where all the beginners I teach uh, fall down. Yeah. So when you play on BBO, let's bring the history up. It's got this great function called show double dummy. Yeah, so you can it can you can find out where you went wrong. Yeah. Here it says that the little the little red ones mean off one if you play those cards. So on on any diamond lead, any spade lead, and any club lead, I could never make. The only lead which I could make was if they led a heart. So <laughs> if it's any consolation, I look at that and go, well, I couldn't have made it anyway. <laughs> yeah, so maybe minus 100 was better. If we, if we gave East a lot of credit and that he false carded, we might have had 300. Okay, so... <laughs> Thanks everyone for coming along. Um, please get, drop us some feedback, whether you liked it, whether you didn't like it. If you wanted a different format, how we could improve this format. <laughs> Let us know. And uh, yeah, it's great to have you all. So uh, yeah, I'll see you. Hopefully see you soon. I'll see some of you in lessons. Don't forget to check out India's uh, four-lesson four course on how the robots play. I might be attending that just to figure out what crazy stuff the robot does. Uh, yeah. Thanks very much, everyone. And uh, hopefully we'll do this again next week. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, India's now uh, India Nat. Yeah, oh, I've known India for a while. Okay, thanks everyone. Catch you later.